Falcao, Mario Gomez, fight! What is up guys, today I bring you a new uh, series I'm going to be trying to do throughout the summer. So if you guys want to see more player versus player videos battling it out, please like this video up so I can see how many of you guys want to see more of these. And also please make sure you write in the comment section below which two players you want me to do a video on next. So let's first up we have Man of the Match Falcao versus Man of the Match Mario Gomez. 4 star skills Falcao, 3 star skills uh, Mario Gomez. And I think both of them have 4 star weak foot. So moving on, they both have really gr uh, great shooting. I mean seriously, in all fairness, I think they're equal at shooting because they both have this ability where the, the ball when it's shot from long range it will dip and it's so awesome to see because they both have sort of equal shot power and equal long shots. You won't notice a difference to be honest with you guys. But what you will notice is Mario Gomez seems so much faster than um, Falcao. Falcao seems just too slow. So if you are one of these players that really want a strong, faster striker, Mario Gomez seems much more ideal because Mario Gomez could hold his own when he's facing defenders. He has around 91 strength, while Falcao, I think he has in the 70s his strength. So when Falcao is on his own, defenders will catch up to him because he's slow and they will be able to take the ball off him because he is not that strong. While Mario Gomez could hold his own, he's able to shove off defenders and he is faster and taller. So, but while both players are really great in the air at heading the ball and making it get into the back of the net, Mario Gomez is taller so he is more likely to win the headers in the air. So you would see more of a difference when you're crossing the ball and as you guys know most defenders are around 6 foot so you're going to need those tall strikers if you want to cross the ball in. And again Mario Gomez another thing great about him is he's cheaper than Falcao on the PS3. He is 100k cheaper so Falcao goes for around 265k on the PS3 while Mario Gomez for just around 160k. Another thing that is really awesome with Gomez is he's easier to dribble the ball with which I don't understand because it shows on Falcao's card that he has 87 dribbling but when I'm trying to dribble the ball with him it seems like I am turning a fucking tank. I don't understand this but with Mario Gomez it says 84 on the card his dribbling stats and he just seems so much easier to dribble the ball with and th th there's another reason why you would see so many headers in this video it's because I wanted to highlight how both are really great at heading the ball. I don't normally put so many headers in the in the in, in my videos, but I just wanted to show you guys how great these both um, both both of these players are at heading the ball. So which one would I recommend? I would definitely recommend Mario Gomez because of how easier to score goals with he's faster taller stronger cheaper and easier to dribble the ball with while Falcao actually has much better free kicks and so much better positioning and um, that is pretty much it guys hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said make sure you like this video up if you want to see more in the future and please comment on which two of the football players you want to see in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and as usual, I hope you have a very nice day.